This is a jet stream, and that's what the video you're streaming is about. Okay, so jet streams, what exactly are they? Jet streams are winds at high altitudes of 8 to 18 kilometers. They blow in the upper part of the troposphere, where it meets the stratosphere. This boundary is also called the tropopause. The altitude of the tropopause decreases as we move from the equator to the poles. That is why jet streams are blowing at different altitudes from 8 to 18 kilometers. The two J's here on the picture are the jet streams, and you can see that the right J here is much higher than the left. Okay, so jet streams are blowing high up in the sky. These winds don't directly influence our daily lives down on Earth at all. The winds that blow through our hair are blowing on the ground, such as the west winds. Jet streams blow at incredible speeds, 180 kilometers per hour in fact. In some cases, however, they can also really pick up speed and reach 500 kilometers per hour. Those are some speedy bastards. The jet streams always blow from the west to the east. We recommend that you remember that. So we have these jet streams, high winds which blow at incredible speeds from the west to the east. Airplanes flying from the US to Europe, for example, make use of this because they happen to fly from the west to the east. And these jumbo jets are what give these winds their name, jet streams. Airbuses turn into air race cars with the help of these jet streams. The jet streams make them much faster and help save a lot of fuel. Jets flying from the US to Europe fly through winds called the polar front jet streams. The polar front jet streams gets its name because it originates from the polar front, in other words, at latitudes between 40 and 60 degrees, at both the northern and southern hemisphere. And this one here is called the subtropical jet stream. It blows at between 20 and 30 degrees of latitude. The subtropical jet stream is formed from the high wind that balances the trade winds. It's also called the anti-trade wind. It is deflected to the right by the Coriolis force, and there's our jet stream. As you can see, the two high winds are wobbling around quite a bit. This means that the jet streams also meander. They are long and winding winds, so to say. These are the so-called Rossby waves. You can remember two reasons for this wave formation. First, there are the temperature differences between land masses and oceans. Land masses warm up faster than the bodies of water. This is why areas of high and low pressure do not quite form on a straight line. And the second reason is the friction of the jet streams with mountains. These interactions then lead to turbulence and wave formation. Okay, there's one more important thing. In this video, we only looked at jet streams in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere, there are also jet streams, such as the polar front jet stream on the southern polar front. Okay, so what's the most important thing to remember about these jet streams? Jet streams are fast and high winds blowing from the west to the east, and they wave around. And that's all there is to it. Well guys, take care and catch you on the flip side.